A typical problem that we encounter uh, often is the case of a circular cylinder. We can see that in uh, maybe phones, and antennas, and actually your airplanes have uh, sometimes they may have small antennas and uh, may have surfaces that may model can be modeled approximately as circular surfaces as well. Um, in such a case, you have uh, what you call the, the fluid, um, the velocity field is given by the following vector. Uh, remember, this is a vector, so in, in, in really, this is V. Uh, U R in the E R direction, plus U theta in the E theta direction, and then you, you can also have in a E Z direction. Okay, um, but in this particular example that we are doing here, um, in, in this particular example, what we see is that we don't have this guy over here. Okay, so these are the only two terms that we have. To find the flow direction, we have to understand how all the equations were derived. In our derivation of the equations here in this uh, in this write-up, uh, this uses uh, v, but this is u theta for our case, and for our terminology is u r. Here you can see that it was derived by a positive theta counterclockwise. Okay, so. Theta is positive when it's counterclockwise. So it goes in this direction. Okay, that's how it was defined. Um, okay, so if I wanted to find what the flow will look like in any location, um, the best way to do this, if I'm going to use this location really on the surface, there should there's no direction, but the flow is not on the surface, it's just after the surface. So the whole idea is so you can choose any point you want that's not actually on the surface. I could choose a point here, a point there, a point there, any point I wanted to. But the easiest points to choose in this problem are maybe choose a point way at the top, a twice the radius. It just simplifies your analysis. The same thing here, twice the radius, right? So this coordinate right here in the in the cylindrical coordinates. Uh, you can use your 2 r, uh, 2a, and then your theta can be pi over 2. In this particular coordinate, uh, you can use 2a comma minus pi over 2. Okay, and this will give you the direction. So if the direction is actually positive, right, this is saying that this is flowing in this direction, so therefore it will go positive like this. If it gives you negative, that means it's actually tangent opposite to the surface. It's going in the opposite direction. Okay, so let's let's see how this works. Uh, let's consider this case, and I'm going to replace r equal to 2a here. But that's one coordinate for both points at the top and at the bottom. So if I did that, your new equation at um, let me write this here r equal to 2a will give you v cosine of theta and this gives you uh, 3 times 4 and then uh, u theta gives you minus v sine of theta and this gives you 5 over 4. So now we are left by basically replacing what theta is equal to. Okay. And how I got this value, by the way, this comes from a squared and then r squared is 2a. So this is a 4a squared. This will give you equal to 1, uh, 1 4. So you put 1 4 theta, 1 4 theta. These are the, the numbers that we get. So, and there is a minus sign there. Okay, so uh, let's see what happens at the uh, upper location at theta equal to pi over 2. Here, you know that your cosine at pi over 2 is actually equal to 0. Um, it's equal to 0. Uh, so you know that your ur is equal to 0. 
and then uh, you know that cosine, uh, I'm sorry, sine, the second term, uh, sine of pi over 2 uh, is equal to 1, and that gives you u theta is equal to uh, minus 5 fourth v. And what this is saying is negative. Again, just go back and recall how our terminology was, our uh, convention, positive counterclockwise. Negative means that it goes in the opposite direction. So since it's going the opposite direction, this is not going clockwise, not going like this. It's actually going the other way around. So the flow in this location is going in this direction. Okay. So since it's going in that direction, I can immediately know the whole flow in this uh, location is going like this. I could evaluate more points, but I don't need to because I'm not going to get uh, everything is going to be in this direction. And it kind of makes sense, right? Because my flow was actually coming this way. So it makes sense I would actually do that. Now, if I wanted to check what happens at the bottom here, this flow, look what happens minus pi over 2. So uh, again, cosine of pi over 2 is equal to 0, and u r is equal to 0. Then you have, I'm sorry, minus. And then sine at minus pi over 2 gives you minus 1. So in this case, you get theta equal to positive uh, v because this is minus, and this gives me minus, minus, minus gives you plus. So then you have 5 over 4 is positive. That means that your flow is actually going in the clock counterclockwise direction. So it's going tangent at this point will be actually in this direction. So it's safe to say that uh, all my flow in this direction is actually going like this. It kind of makes sense, right? You the flow is coming here, splitting at the top, and splitting at the bottom. So this is how you how we will find the flow around a, a cylindrical coordinate system.